as I said several times in the different videos, um, creating a testing plan for a startup is one of the most important things and it's gonna happen really early in the process. We actually create these for companies during the pre-sub process. That's one of the reasons why I tell people we're gonna charge the same amount whether you do the pre-sub or not do the pre-sub because if you skip the pre-sub, we're probably gonna to have to do more work on the back end because you skip some important testing. One of the parts that I like to make sure every client covers in their pre-sub is the testing plan. And then you ask specific questions about that testing plan. So here's the template that we use, it's just part of it. It actually has some stuff above and below, but uh, we have software validation. So we have a bunch of guidance documents and uh, IEC 62304 is the standard for software validation. Here's the standard for EMC testing. Here's the standard for electrical safety. Uh, there's a different one for IVD products. And then we have um, manual cleaning validation might be applicable to your product if it's reusable. We have sterilization guidance documents that might be applicable, shelf life testing, um, shipping validation, transit testing. And then this is the beginning of the biocompatibility section down here. Oh, actually, no, this is interoperability. So biocompatibility is even further down the list. But this is the template that we already have. So if you purchase our 510K webinar series uh, or 510K course, we actually have templates for everything, including the precept, and this is one of those templates. Um, and it really will help you create your own uh, testing plan, and then you submit that to the FDA in a pre-sub and ask them questions about that plan. So this is one of the most important things we help companies with. Sometimes it's based on the predicate. Sometimes it's based on what other predicates or other similar classific classified devices did for testing. Sometimes it's based on a guidance. Sometimes it's based on our own experience working with the FDA on similar products.